All right, people, so I just want to do a video here talking about CM Punk. This is all people have been talking about in the uh, idiot wrestling community, community, the IWC, for the last, like, five months. You know, is CM Punk going to return? Is he going to return? This is a number one story about a motherfucker that's not even in the company. Just reinforces my belief that CM Punk is a cancer to not only WWE, not only to AEW, but wrestling as a whole. Because the biggest stories in wrestling in the last year or two have been about CM Punk. And they haven't even been about the actual product, the content that's actually on the television screen. It's always about a backstage skirmish with CM Punk. CM Punk's complaining. He's getting into this. He's getting into that. He's like a fucking woman. Always complaining. Always getting into fucking problems. And now he might return at Survivor Series. So everybody's dick is getting hard because CM Punk may return. A man who's in his mid to late 40s. A man who's way past his prime. This is what we're talking about. And I can't blame the retarded wrestling fans because the, the product sucks. Uh, you know, there's no new talent. No big stars. Nothing whatsoever. The only big star that they had, Roman Reigns, is now fading into oblivion. You, you know, the, the, the title run has gone on forever. Nobody can even take the belt from him because there's no big stars. So all we talk about is CM Punk. And, and, and to even go beyond that, you look at all the washed up has that are not only in WWE now, but now AEW. I was watching AEW the other day or saw a clip online. You got the fucking big shit. Oh, they're calling him Paul White. Oh, wow. How creative. We're, we're so cool. We're not calling him the big show. We're calling him Paul White. Fucking big show. The big shit. His legs aren't even straight. And they're, and they're just throwing him out there in the ring. A man who should be like sitting on the beach enjoying retirement. He's still wrestling. He's fucking 50 years old. Fucking deformed. They're just throwing him out in the ring. He's fucking taking bumps off of fucking cars. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's sad. The, the, the state of wrestling, it's sad that they're throwing people out who should be, like, getting his fucking legs re-straightened. I mean, maybe the fucking bump off the car got his legs, you know, going in the right direction. I mean, it's embarrassing. The fucking big shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, and now, now it's Randy Orton. Randy fucking Orton. Again... We, we, we can't talk about the actual product. The wrestling fans, the IWC can't talk about the actual product because it sucks. So it's just about, well, when's this guy going to return? When's this guy going to return? Do we not forget that Randy Orton's fucking like 45 years old, that he's past his prime? Now, he was a decent wrestler in, in terms of like he wasn't beaten down. Like, that's the standard now for, for wrestling. Are, are they past their... Are, are they not beaten down? That's the fucking standard. It's sad. But anyway. You know, let's not forget he's been out of action for fucking two years. He had major surgery. So who knows how good he's going to be. And again, let's not forget. He's been in wrestling for over 20 years. Like, when are we going to move on? And let's not forget Orton... He was called Randy Borton for a reason. Because he was fucking boring at, all, at times. His character was decent. But let's not forget, he was a boring fucking babyface for, for a lot of his career. He was a boring fucking wrestler. He was the king of fucking rest holds. Oh, he had a really good neck hold, guys. Yeah. I mean, the fucking RKO is just a glorified diamond cutter. I mean, let's not get all worked up about Randy Orton. Just because he hasn't been wrestling for two years, I'm not going to get a fucking boner for Randy Orton. So again, we, we go back to the point. There's nothing good happening in wrestling. No good storylines. No good characters. No good anything, really. And, and the stars like MJF and Roman Reigns, I feel like they're, like they're falling off. I saw fucking MJF crying. Crying at a fuck, like, does AEW, do these wrestling companies know how to build new stars? I mean, your top star is fucking crying. Are we supposed to laugh at this? Is this supposed to be funny? Like, it's not. It's stupid. Could you imagine Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock or Triple H or Batista? Or you go down the line, can you imagine these people, like, actually crying? A grown-ass fucking man crying? I mean, it, it's it's sad. These wrestling companies don't know what they're doing. Everybody's talking about CM Punk. 
I was so glad to hear he got, when they started chanting his name, that people started booing. Thank God people are starting to wake up to the fact that I've been talking about for years now that CM Punk is a cancer. He's annoying. He's had his day. It's time to move on to the new talent, people. Stop obsessing over this man. Phil Brooks. I love Phil Brooks. I love C Shut the fuck up. He's overrated. And it's time to move on, people. He should go, again, just like the big shit, go sit on the beach for a few years. Then he can come back and get inducted into the Hall of Fame and we could all celebrate as hopefully WWE starts to finally fucking build up new talent. But I don't want to see him. He's a cancer. He distracts from the product. All you will hear if he comes back for the next two or three years is about, oh, CM Punk had a backstage skirmish with this guy. CM Punk, CM, la, la, la. Move on. Fuck CM Punk. Fuck wrestling. It's a sh it's a shitty ass product right now, and it's in the toilet. So anybody, in my opinion, that watches this shit and gets some sort of entertainment out of it, is has no standards no standards for themselves, and and is a fucking moron. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on CM Punk, uh, possibly returning. Fuck that. Not gonna make me watch again. If anything, it's gonna make me less likely to watch anything in the future. I hate CM Punk. For, he's, done, he's had a lot of great moments, but it's time to move on. There you go, people.